Facebook adds new privacy safeguards to its login, a move that will help give users more choices about the kinds of personal information they share with third parties. Here with more details on what to look for is tech editor Brian Fitzgerald. Brian, thanks very much for being here. Hi, how are you? Good. So what kind of changes are we seeing Facebook starting to roll out? Sure. So Facebook's been dinged on privacy over the last year, two years, and so taking some steps to try to give their users more control over privacy, not necessarily at the expense of Facebook. So we've all seen the you know, login with Facebook buttons when you go to you know, so, you know, e-commerce sites or apps. And so now what Facebook wants to do is give you one of two options. One is control the kind of information that you give. These are things like your email address, your birthday, your friends lists, you know, what you like, the things that you like. That's one, and that one will withhold information from whatever that third-party site is, if it's Sarah's Swag. Sarah's Swag no, no longer knows that I you know, like a bunch of things. Another thing that they're testing, uh, and this is in much smaller use right now, is a complete anonymous login. And that one would just let you go in as well, anonymously. And that one's really interesting to me because what's in it for Facebook or for an advertiser on Facebook right. if you log in anonymously? That's a great question. So I don't think Facebook loses anything in all of this. Who really gets hurt, if, if you could say hurt, is, is, is the e-commerce site. They're not getting the data. Facebook still knows it's you. Facebook still knows that you've gone to Sarah's Swag. So Facebook still has data on their users saying, this person likes to shop at this kind of site. Hey, marketers and advertisers, you probably want to pitch this product at that person. All right, what's your take, Brian? Do you think these things are a move to win over new Facebook users, or is it just to keep the ones who are already there from not getting annoyed and shutting down their sure. Facebook accounts? It's both. It really is both. Facebook has more than a billion users. They've already won the social login war because they have the most users. So more than half the people who use these kind of logins use Facebook. At this point, with that much power, Facebook can afford to give a little back to the user and build up some privacy cred not at its own expense, really. And if you're one of those e-commerce sites, you're probably not going to drop Facebook login because you're upset about getting less data. They're, they're too big. All right, we'll see how these anonymous logins work out. Brian, thanks very much for joining sure. us.